this next topic is a really important one. And I often joke that much of my career has been built on this very simple formula. Here it is. Hazard equals toxicity times exposure. What the formula means, and this is just a, it's a foundational formula. We're not going to put any numbers to it for all of you who are scared of math. We're not going to do, deal with any numbers here. Hazard equals toxicity times exposure means the danger or the hazard posed by the pesticide is directly related to two things. How toxic it is times your exposure to it, right? Hazard equals toxicity times exposure. We're going to come back to that a few times. So two principles we want to keep in mind here. A basic understanding of the word hazard and the methods by which we assess pesticide hazards. So there are three basic exposure scenarios. Acute, subchronic, and chronic. Very easy to think of them this way. Acute means short-term exposure, like 24 hours. You're handling a pesticide, um, a hose breaks, and you get that pesticide sprayed on you accidentally. You take off that contaminated safety gear. You take a shower. At that point, that exposure ends. That's an acute or short-term exposure. Subchronic would be longer, a longer exposure, like a 90-day exposure. And chronic exposures are long-term exposures, something longer than a year. Now, these numbers, these dates, they're not hard and fast. But keep in mind these three different time frames, acute, subchronic, and chronic. They describe exposures, and they also describe the kind of laboratory tests that are done to assess pesticide risk. So looking at our formula again, hazard equals toxicity times exposure. If you want to make hazard smaller, there's only three things you can do. Make the toxicity number smaller, make the exposure number smaller, or make a combination of the two smaller. Well, here's the bad news. You can't do anything about toxicity. Once you select a particular pesticide to use, there's nothing you can do to change its toxicity. Toxicity is a, it's an inherent value of that molecule just like it's molecular weight or something like that. So all you can really do is change exposure. And much of what we do as far as redu reducing pesticide hazard has to do with reducing exposure. Now we've come to the end of this section. So now it's time for a quiz on hazard equals toxicity times exposure. <laughs>